tie your head like a grandma? Does your church ask you to tie your head all the time? Do Christians uh, need to have head covering on all the time? These are the questions that I hear of many more. Some people ask it because they really don't know and want to learn. Some people ask it because they have never heard about it. Some people ask it to challenge me or to humiliate and embarrass me. Whatever the reason or the motivation for which people ask me this question, today I have come with the answer to why I have my head covering on all the time. And before I proceed with this video, if you do not like this topic, click away to the next video. And if you are ready for a learning mature conversation, join the conversation in the chat and comment section let's do the conversation and learn together hello everyone welcome to consistence place channel in today's video i'm going to be answering a question that i get asked a lot about why i always have my head if you've been wondering why i always have my head covered stick till the end of this video and if you have not yet subscribed to consistence place channel please go ahead and hit the subscription button turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my I started covering my hair 22 years ago and before I ever got married people were like you don't even look beautiful when you when you have your head covered do you think a husband is gonna find you guys one of my friends told me that my husband was too young for me Ooh. and I was like what I instead think that what my head scarf did to me it filtered away the wrong husband and attracted the right exact husband that I needed oh yeah well I'm not saying that that's why I'm putting on my scarf but then I'm going to bring the answers to you and before I answer my own I have a question for you why do you not have your head covered is it because your church asks you not to cover your head is it because of peer pressure is it because you have a foundational principle on which you are based not to cover your head or is it because you don't want to be embarrassed and you think that if you cover your hair, you're gonna look ugly, you wanna fit in or ascertain yourself that way? Let me know in the comments. I also know that some people profile me because I have my hair covered. And I just want to let you know that I am one of the most diverse person you will ever see. I usually try to connect with people from the heart and not from the outward appearance so if you see me and i'm covering my head don't think that when you come near me i'll be like hey, hey you don't have your head covered so i can't talk to you or if you see me and you have your head covered and you think you just come near me and i'll embrace you that's not how i function now. so if i see you dress even in a controversial way that's not going to repel you from me i will want to connect with you from the heart to find out what, what is it that is in your mind that's where i want to connect i'm more interested in what is inside than what is outside of a person and a lot of people who have come near me have noticed that so i know that when i started covering my head i lost a lot of friends and even when i started covering my head i gained a lot of friends so it has been a win-win situation for me, I've gained a lot of wonderful, amazing friends, and I've also lost a lot of them, and which is okay, and that's how life is happening to me, and I take it that way, and I'm still, I don't judge anybody because I was not born like this, the word of God had to convict me, and until the word of God convicts somebody, I don't have any claim to lay on them, you know, so that's how I function, so don't see me and run away, say that mommy holy holy is coming, no, I am a sinner who has been saved, by grace, I don't go around judging, condemning people, or make, declaring people righteous because they have their heads covered, or condemning people because they don't have their heads covered. That's not who I am. I don't imitate people because even if someone inspires me in a Christian way, I have to have a biblical backing for that inspiration. So, there are certain things that I do that some Christians don't do all based on how I'm convicted by the word of God. And there are some certain things that some Christians do that I don't know if the word of God has not convicted me on that. So I, I get inspired by other Christians very well. But even the inspiration I get from other Christians has to have a biblical foundation. If I see something another Christian does and it inspires me, I will relate it to the word of God and say, wow, this has broadened my scope, it has opened my understanding and has brought in inspiration and conviction. If I see something that another Christian is doing and it doesn't add one plus two in my mind, 
mm, I'll be skeptical about it. Even if you are covering your head, it's not everything that you do that I'm going to I don't do. go around feeling embarrassed with my head covering. In fact, I mean, I'm intentional in what I do because I believe in what I am doing. That's why when I started my YouTube channel, I show my face with my head covering, right? How about that? I have my head covered. And I also have, you see that situation going on on my head? I do it intentionally. I get creative. Sometimes I do it the other way. Sometimes I do it the other way. Sometimes I do it behind. I do it ahead. I get creative in the way I do my head covering. So that's just me, that's my Christ esteem that I have. And to those who have chosen to cover your head, don't have any such embarrassment. Ascertain yourself. Don't wait for people's affirmation. Or don't just fit into people who are doing other things. If they know what they are basing on, I don't know. So I can't be following people, I don't even know where they are going to. Some people even do what they are doing, they don't even know what they are doing. And you are busy imitating that, you don't even know where they are going. They're like, I don't even know why I am doing what I am doing. I'm just doing it because everybody is doing it and you are there following them, you don't know where they are going. It is even good to know your path and know exactly where you are going and don't do things by imitation. Or I'm just covering my head because they are covering in our church. And I'm not also here to endorse people, you just cover your hair because they are covering it in your church and you don't even know why you are covering it. And or you are covering your head and you have very bad character, please. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not also in line with people who have this outward holiness and their hearts are as dark as darkness. No, please, if you have to represent Christ, represent Christ in outwardly and inwardly. I don't consider people Christian just because they have a head covering on. What is coming out from your inside is what I consider before I ever get to your so, the reason why I tie my head is because I am actually someone that um, functions from foundational principles. Everything that I do, for the most part, I always have a scriptural backup or a principle on which I base myself before I do that. And I try to do that in every aspect of my life. You, do you just imitate people or you are based on something? So many people tell me that. Oh, you have so so and so women of God, they don't cover their hair, but Christians too. Me, I have who I am imitating. Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1, that be imitators of me as I am of Christ. And that's whom I am imitating. Whoever you've chosen to be imitating, that's up to you. I'm not here to challenge you. But as for me, I have chosen Apostle Paul's teachings to imitate. I will never give as a reason to cover my head that my church uh, tells us to cover head. No, I am a Christian. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and I'm responsible to understand the principle on which I am based to do whatever I do and not shift the responsibility to someone else. It is my responsibility to know and I am convinced about what I am. Corinthians chapter 11 from verses 1 through 16. Apostle Paul says, Be ye followers of me as I also am of Christ. This is the King James Version. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I deliver them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of every woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, Dishonoreth his head. But every woman that prayeth or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. For that is even all one as if she were shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame for the woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. So that's where I base to honor the man and honor Christ who is our head. So, if you have hair, cover it. And if you don't want to cover the hair, shave it. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head for as much as he is the image and glory of God. But the woman is the glory of the man. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angels. Each time I am aware that I have angels who surround me and protect me from danger. So having that awareness in me all the time requires me to have my hair 
covered to acknowledge the presence of the angels who are guarding me. So I'm a princess with bodyguards. How about that? Says, Nevertheless, neither is the man without woman, neither the woman without the man in the Lord. For as much the woman is of the man, even so is the man also by the woman. But all things are of God. Now, judge in yourself, is it comely that a woman pray unto God and provide? So I'm asking you that question, judge for yourself. Is it really right that a woman prays unto God with her head uncovered? Does not even nature itself teach us that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him. But if a woman have long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. If you are a Christian who is covering your hair, let me also know why you cover your hair. And some people don't be shamed if you have to cover your hair. I feel extinct. That's why I made my channel of Consistence Place. It's about me living as a Christian woman, a Christian wife, a Christian mom, a Christian sister, a Christian nurse, a Christian coach from a Christian standpoint. And that is how I am and that's how I show up. I didn't come out hiding my face because I'm embarrassed about covering my hair. I cover my hair and I'm assertive about it and I'm confident about it and I'm convinced about what I am doing. So you, are you convinced about the practices you are practicing or you just imitate, you go to a church today that time, you don't time. You go to another church that not time, you don't time. You change again, you deter, you die. Some people said that the Holy Spirit convicted them, they heard the voice of God. Some people said they heard a dream. Some people said God spoke to them directly. As for me, I have never had a dream, I have never heard the voice of God. This is the scripture on which I base to have my hair covering all. If a woman is praying or prophesying with her head uncovered, she dishonors her head. If she dishonors her head, who is the man? How much more of Christ, who is the higher hierarchy? I am aware and I'm conscious all the time that I'm surrounded by angels protecting me. And so for that reason, I acknowledge the presence of the authority over me and I cover my hair because it says in the book of Thessalonians that pray without ceasing. Praying for me doesn't only mean that I go on my knees in the temple and cover my eyes. I can pray at any time and I can meditate the word of God at any time. An awareness of connection with God, that's how I, I live. Each time I'm in a prayer mode activated. Sometimes I'm in the kitchen doing the dishes and I get into prayer, I get into worship. Sometimes I'm in my room or in the car driving. It's just a moment in the presence of God, either by prayer, by meditating or worship or any form. So I'm always available to set myself into worship, prayer, and so on. So people cover their hair when they go to church and when they're out of church, they take it off. For me, I know that I am the temple of God, the temple of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit abides in me. I'm a member of the church. I am not, the church is not a, an environment where they go to. I'm part of the church. So, so that's where I base to have my head covered all the time as a sign to acknowledge the presence of the authority of God around me. So another thing some people argue that the woman has her hair as her glory yes that it was said in that same scripture that if you do not want to cover your hair you are better off shaved so if you do not want to cover it shave it off but if you don't want to shave it off cover it which means that with the hair in place cover it if you don't want to cover it then take off the covering and shave the head right so having the hair is something glorious and then you cover the covering right and for me i have chosen to imitate apostle paul and that is who i am imitating and his teaching that i am implementing and i know no other one and i'm not arguing with anybody there's nothing is as bad as someone who is just ignoring it doesn't just want to deal with it avoidance is not treating the problem but you need to know on what you base or you are not just comfortable having your head covered and you don't want to go there you don't want to deal with it i know it's hard but then you need to learn how to surrender to the will of God and actually be convinced about what you are doing. Those who do not agree with what I have said with my position, I have you covered. Verse 16 says that if you are contentious, we have no such custom, right? 
Those of you who cover your hair, why do you cover it? Those of you who only cover in church, why do you even do that? Why do you cover your hair? Let us know in the comment section. We've come to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Consistence Place channel. Like this video, share it, give this video a thumbs up. And until then, see you in our next video. What shall I offer to my Lord to make him happy? What shall I offer to the Lord to please him? If I only have my head covering, it might not please him. If I only wrap my head covering, it might not please him. A converted life, a holy life, a loving heart, a transformed life, he will love.